James likes resting in the sheds. That meant he didn't have to do anything. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. James, I need you to pull some trucks around the island and take them somewhere else. James didn't like that at all. But sir, why can't I pull coaches? Because that's Thomas's job. But what, what coaches are for a tent erection? I have said so. Now go do it, or else you will be scrapped. And Sir Topham had left. James was not happy. On his way, he saw Percy arranging his trucks. There you go, James. Here's your freight train. Ugh, said James. And he set off. James was soon approaching the bridge, and there was a very steep climb, but James knew he could do it. No nonsense, he said to the trucks as he made his way over the bridge. But then there was trouble. James couldn't stop, and he raced down the other... Help! cried James. Thomas was just making his way over the points when... It was a terrible mess. Ah, what were you thinking? cried Thomas. What was I thinking? You got in my way, snapped James. And both engines started arguing when Sir Topham had arrived. That is enough, he boomed. James, I am very ashamed of you. Why were you going at Tom so fast? It wasn't my fault, it was the silly trucks. Huh, so I see. Well, uh, we don't have a breakdown crane, so um, we'll have to wait until another engine arrives to help clear this mess up, he said. And so he walked away. James was upset. Later that afternoon, the two engines were arguing. You got in my way, cried James. No, you weren't watching where you were going. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Guys, snapped Percy. Can you both shut up? It was both your fault. You didn't see where you, each other was going. Both engines stopped after that and decided to think about it for the rest of the day.